Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Chris, I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. We have another What's Old video for you today. So this is gonna be for Saturday, May 1st. Um, I can't believe it's May already. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna show you guys what's sold for us today. I'm gonna take it over to Kathy and she'll start picking. All right, so we'll start in inbox W, eBay sales. Okay, so these Nike foam positive shoes. Um, so these I got at Goodwill for six ninety nine because they were in the kids section, which they technically are kids are youth size, but normally any bigger youth sizes end up in the adults for like twenty five bucks. So I'm glad I snagged these for six ninety nine. They sold for fifty two sixteen plus shipping. All right, and then D F. It's like you doing all that. <laughs> You're okay, Ricky. You okay? <laughs> <laughs> so this is a uh, skies are blue, which I think is from one of the like subscription boxes. Um, and this sold for nine fifty three plus shipping. It came from the bins, part of our stimulus check challenge. So about a dollar into nine plus ship. And we sold a, another bra to a viewer. So let me find it. Yeah, we still really got to figure out a better way <laughs> to well, know, manage I mean, these we've bras. we've already sold almost half of them in like a couple days. Yeah, we still got like 20 more to list though. I, I was hoping these would all sell. Okay, so it's this guy. Um, and it's going out to Kaylin, I believe it is. Let us know if we're pronouncing that wrong. Um, she just said that she loves to watch the channel and also lives in Colorado. So um, thank you so much, Kaylin. She picked this up for $21.71. Plus shipping. Kaylin, thank you for the support. I hope you enjoy the bra. All right, and we had a few more Facebook sales. So AY. And finally sold a pair of these. So I bought, <laughs> you can see I have like four or five of them. <laughs> but this is the first one to sell and I've had them almost a year, I feel like maybe since like Labor Day. I do not know all those dings are. All right, sorry guys, we kept getting dings. We had to silence our computers. <laughs> um, so these are just some Vineyard Vines, like athletic shorts, but they're just like a bright green. So that could be why they're not selling as quickly, but they finally, this pair finally sold for 30 plus ship. I picked them up for $10 each at TJ Maxx, like a yellow tag sale. And like the retail on them is like 90 bucks. So I figured I could get at least 30, but it's been taking a while. I guess it makes sense because now it's starting to get summer. So I hope the rest sell off soon here. Right, and I sold also on Facebook these Cole Haan men's loafers. Um, these I almost I kind of regretted buying just because they had a weird scuff on them. I don't know. I just I keep picking up dress shoes even though I don't like them and I wish I would stop. But um, I did pay $7.99 for them and sold them for $20 plus shipping. So I made about a $10 profit. Not the worst. Did we have those ones for a while? Uh, not too long. Okay. I just kind of put them at a low price on Facebook because I didn't like them. <laughs> <laughs> so. Price things low because you don't like them? <laughs> These ones I liked and I thought they'd sell quicker than they did, but they, they sold fairly quick, like less than 90 days for sure. But I thought these would sell in like the first week and they didn't. Just some ASICs. I have $7.99 into them. They sold for 30 plus shipping. Also on Facebook. So Facebook's going yeah, strong. Yeah, Facebook is, it's really starting to yeah. make us some good sales. Now if they could just figure out all the glitches. <laughs> Seems like there's a new glitch every day. <laughs> uh, so these are some Asics wrestling shoes. These ones sold on Mercari for 34 plus ship. I have 9.99 into them. Two Poshmark sales, AG. These are some Asics Onisuka Tiger, however you say that. Um, these I got at Plato's Closet for eight. Sold them on Posh for 37. That was an offer someone sent me, I accepted. And then CA, last sale. This is something I've had since 2019. These are just some Hannah Anderson, but like women's wool mules or clogs. So 
So I thought they were nice. They're like in perfect condition, but I paid $5 for them and they just now sold for $20. So I did make a $10, $11 profit, but it took two years. So yeah. not worth it. But yeah, mm. we'll get those packed up. All right, Reese, you're <laughs> up, Bubba. You got to pack them all up for us, okay? <laughs> all right, we'll be back, guys. All right, guys, we got everything all packed up, ready to go. Kathy's got her new rose gold Hulkin bag we're going to be using today. And by we, he means he gets to I get to take them. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so on these, what were these? These were... Those Nike those shoes. Those Nike foam posits or something? Yeah, so the shoes themselves weighed one pound, like 12 point something ounces. So usually we put shoes in the shoe box, priority mail, but this weighs... Well, we already cut it down, but... Yeah. Right now it's at 4.3 ounces only. It was only. just over two pounds. We tried cutting it down to see if we could save. And it was still over. We couldn't cut it. About an ounce it. over and yeah, we couldn't cut any more off. So we decided we'd try to see if we could find a box the perfect size for these shoes. Yeah. We, if box in a bag on pirate ship would save us money. And it still did not. <laughs> <laughs> so. I, I would love to know how people are doing it. Yeah. But yeah, the only dimensions where the cubic even popped up is if we did eight by 11, which is just the shoes with no. Yeah. So we, we tried to see if we cheated and we measured this by this, how much would it be? But you can see here when you do it, it tells you measure and use the length and width of the envelope before putting anything in it. So right. even if the shoes are only eight by 11, which they were, so we're for example, out the third dimension. Here's the bag that we used. Yeah, it's about 15. That's the exact bag we used. So you should have to put in at least 16 by 12, and that would be way more. Yeah, let's see what that is. It gets rid of the cubic yeah, option even, altogether. So it, yeah. So the ground, I don't even really understand what ground is, but I would not, I, we don't really use it unless we're sending like perfumes yeah. or something. I don't know if you can use that, but even still, that wasn't really much of a deal over what. Well, and it goes from a us. one to three day delivery to a two to eight days. Okay. Yeah, so regular priority mail on eBay ended up being ten sixty eight for just two pounds, because this way we just put the real dimensions, including the third dimension, um, on eBay. So yeah, yep. we were able to. So we bubble wrapped the shoes. Just to give them a little extra padding. I mean, I send stuff in padded flat rates all the time, anyways. Yep. So now it's at 113.7, but yeah, even still pirate ship was not cheaper, even for that, those dimensions, like. Yep, even if we tried to cheat it, it was still, it was still right around the same price as if we did it legitimately. And, <laughs> you know, obviously we were not gonna try to use that box because well, you can't yeah, use. We'll, we'll save this for another Priority time. boxes inside bags. That's kind of against the terms of the whole product, but. Yeah, I don't know. Are we doing something wrong, guys? Are we? I'm pretty sure everyone else. Is <laughs> I think everyone else whoever, is doing it wrong too. Whoever's using it the, the wrong way is doing something. <laughs> now we did get a few comments on our video where we last talked about this, saying that they've experienced the same thing. Like they don't see. I think maybe one or two people said they were able to save money one time, but for us, it just doesn't make sense to go through all this work to try to see if we could save fifty cents. It just we'd rather just pack it up and pay the 50 cents and that saves us on the time involvement of trying to figure it out right so like that the ebay um because when i buy the label through ebay the money just comes off of what the buyer's already paid i don't have to upfront yeah. it or anything like that so it's just simpler and honestly it came out cheaper so so yeah <laughs> we did then, have one more sale oh yeah we did have one sale come in brand G Define, which this is my first time selling it. They reminded me of Shape Up, so I gave them a chance, and they did not disappoint. I did pay $14.99 for these because I saw comps for around $50. I listed mine at $60 plus shipping, and with our sale running, they sold for $52.16 plus ship, so $15 into $52. Pretty good. Maybe we can even use that box we cut down on those. It looks about the same size. <laughs> <laughs> And as far as cutting down, so you are allowed to cut priority boxes just as long as they're not flat rate. So. Yeah, nothing flat rate. Do not modify flat rate packaging, but you can 
Franken box and and put boxes together and cut them down with the regular priority mailing boxes. So these are only going to Oklahoma, so it only costs eight dollars to ship out, and I think the buyer paid more than that. <laughs> yeah. So cool. So that's that. We'll go ahead and pack that one up when we're done here. You wanted to talk about the board because we finished up April. We're going to be getting rid of the board. Well, not getting rid, but clearing up April and putting May up. <laughs> since it's May 1st yeah. right now. I don't think I did anything that day, any new listings, because that's the day that I bought all those Harley shirts and stuff. So right. I did work on them. I got them purchased, yeah. typed in the same day. I actually had Chris go pick up our son that day so that I could actually time myself how long it would take them all to get typed in. And it was 52 items to 23 minutes, so about two minutes per item to type them into our inventory. And then I also photographed like 25 that first day. So he got those drafted for me and I'll probably, I was gonna say this weekend, but I might start listing those on Monday because I kind of want to cross post a bunch of stuff this weekend. Yeah. So anyways, yesterday I just was finishing up the drafts that we already had on eBay because next month we mentioned we want to start posting straight to list perfectly. So I pretty much did that. I finished up all the drafts that were ready for me. So that was only 12 and then $414. Yep. So. so moving along, actually I did draft those Harley shirts that she uh, photographed in List Perfectly. Assuming that we were gonna be doing that this month, which we are. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited for trying new things out. So we like to try little experiments here and there. We've been doing you know something every month, changing something up and seeing the results that way. This past April, we listed to eBay first only and then cross-listed a couple weeks after and we liked that. It saved us a little bit of time cross-listing and managing all that kind of stuff. But we still do like cross-listing because we do get a lot of sales on all the other platforms. The other day we got more sales on Facebook Marketplace than we did on eBay, which I think that was probably the first time in a long time that eBay wasn't the champion of the day. So, but yeah, this month, April, I'm sorry, this month in May, we're going to be listing to list perfectly first. We're gonna try to do a. We're gonna try to do a few more list perfectly videos throughout the month to show you guys how we use it in our business and how we're going to be using it in the future. So we're gonna start utilizing the platform more than we have in the past. Um, we've seen some other resellers like Becky Park talking about going to list perfectly first and then using it to cross list to all the platforms. Whereas before, we would list on Poshmark first and then cross list from Poshmark to the other platforms that way. Um, so yeah, we're really going to see how much of a benefit it can do for our business, and hopefully that'll help you guys figure out if that's how you want to do it too. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it. It is Saturday. We did record a little bit earlier today, but we're going to get this stuff off to the post office, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.